guys, Roxy Sims here and I have another speed build for you today. I am going to be making a hangout in the park in Del Sol Valley. So it is going to have a mostly outdoor cafe and it's going to have a couple food vendors and a little fire pit and tables to where people can just hang out and have a good time in Del Sol Valley. If you did not already know, I am remaking every single lot in Del Sol Valley. I'm calling it the Del Sol Valley Redo. And since there are only five lots in the downtown area, I mean, there's none to waste, you know? I gotta make use of every single one. So, while the area around this is very park-like, I thought this, you know, Del Sol Valley definitely needs a cafe. I mean, you gotta have a place to go get some coffee. And also the food vendors. I thought the food vendors would be very, very nice. You know, going to a restaurant takes a long time in the sim, so it's very nice to have just a place to go get a quick bite to eat. Now, the very unfortunate thing about having food vendors on a lot is that the actual vendors don't come unless you hire them. I find that to be very, very, very sad. Um, <laughs> I really, really wish that they would just come automatically if it was on a community lot. I don't know why they don't. That would be so nice. So unfortunately, you will have to hire them if you want to come. It's like $100 to hire them. Not really a problem with me because I literally always use the mother load cheat 100% of the time. Um, I know some people don't though. So that is something to consider that if you are not a cheater like me, <laughs> that will be something you have to pay for. But if you are not a, a cheater cheater pumpkin eater, <laughs> you can definitely just delete those food vendors and like put in more tables or put in a gardeny area or make the fire pit area bigger. Yeah, either way, just, you know, change it to fit your needs. Like I said, I'm a cheater, so I'll just hire them and, and it's no big deal. But can we please start like a petition saying that food vendors need to just automatically come if it's a community lot i think that's like a real petition that needs to happen because that would just be oh that would be lovely i i would definitely appreciate that well so like i was saying this is going to be like a mostly outdoor coffee shop i say mostly outdoor because i wanted to put at least a couple of tables inside in case it's raining and i know it doesn't rain much in like real LA because you know Del Sol Valley is based on LA I, I know it doesn't rain much there but it does rain in Del Sol Valley so a couple seats inside didn't seem like a bad idea but I really like the idea of having those the two sides kind of open to the outside as if you know those glass awnings as if you would just open those up when the business is open and close them down whenever the place is closed so that it's like you know, like you can order from outside. Because I was looking at coffee shops in LA and there seems to be quite a lot of the like outdoor coffee shop and I thought that fit the, the park setting and all of that. So that was for sure something I wanted to go with. I hope that it is coming across, but I'm trying to go very hipster. Um, you know, I thought that just would fit the you know, LA area. So I'm going to like the kind of rough concrete walls with those like those tile. I'm totally basing those off those those cement tile that have the really cool designs on them that you see everywhere lately. Um, so that's kind of what I'm going for with the floor. I just wanted to go very hipster. Uh, you know, if I think of LA, I kind of think of hipster. <laughs> so I had to go, I had to go that route. And I thought the succulent plants also fit that really well. I I just love succulents. Don't you? They're just like the prettiest thing. I would fill my entire house with succulents if I could. Um, they're kind of pricey though. So yeah, I, I got to limit my, my, my succulent buying. <laughs> so this is the second community lot that I have rebuilt in Del Sol Valley. The first one was the Studio PVP. I just did that video. Um, 
so it's nice to do this like little coffee shop, you know, because that that was kind of a big build. And that took me a bit. So it was nice to do just a, a quick little thing, a good change of pace, you know. And um and I've also rebuilt one residential lot so far. Uh I made a like nineteen seventies style mid century modern home. Um that is in the like not so good neighborhood. The one that's like closest to the highway. Yeah, so I've got, this is my third one so far. It's going to take a bit, but I am totally invested. I'm going to rebuild it all. So at the end of the video, I will um, put like a link to watch the playlist. Like I said, it's only three so far, but you know, I'll get there. So I'm definitely going to make one of the lots a restaurant. I'm obsessed with restaurants, so at least one of them has to be one. I'm thinking probably where the gym is of turning that into a restaurant. But, you know, I love restaurants so much that I'm even considering putting in a second one. Because uh, I don't know what else that I would want, you know? Like, maybe I'll make one very, very fancy, ritzy place that all the celebrities go to. And then maybe I'll make more of a, like, a, a hip, like, vegan restaurant as the second one. I'm not totally sure, but that's what I'm thinking. But what do you think? Do you, you think I should have two restaurants, one ritzy, one hip young person restaurant? I just don't know what else would be better, you know? I love just, I love restaurants. What can I say? Well, you know, now that I think about it, maybe I should have a gym because I am wanting to have like at least one of my Sims be like an actress. And I kind of think, like, I've heard that you need to go to the gym. Uh, like, that's part of your job. So maybe I should keep a gym and do, like, a yoga studio kind of thing. That would be very fitting of LA. So I might keep one. If you have other suggestions of, like, what things are very LA, because I, that's truly how I'm making this. I'm making it as LA as I could possibly make it. So if there's something else that you think fits LA very, very much. And uh, yeah, please, please suggest it to me. Um, cause yeah, I, I just wanna, I wanna get like the full experience. Since I'll never get to move to LA, <laughs> then at least I can live vicariously through my sim. I was just thinking how nice it would be to live somewhere where you could have like outdoor coffee shops, you know, cause I'm from the Midwest. It gets cold, <laughs> so cold. Like I used to work in this outdoor mall and in the winter time, you know, nobody would come because why would any sane person be outside <laughs> when it is like that outrageously cold outside? It's just, it doesn't make any sense. So I would like literally bring books and just read books all day because it was so dead at that mall. It was great. That job was great in the winter time, anyways. Uh, in the summer, yeah, totally different story. The busiest place ever. But that winter time, I got a, a lot of reading done. Well, guys, I'm just doing a little bit of landscaping, and then we are pretty much done. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and comment and subscribe. And I really hope that you would join me for my, the rest of my Del Sol Valley redo. I am also working on furnishing my Venice build. So yeah, I've got a lot of very fun stuff coming up and I hope you'll join me for it. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you all very soon. Bye, everybody.